What if you were the living embodiment of all pervasive peace? What if all sentient beings all around you increase their vibration towards harmony by merely being in your contact? What if through conscious reasoning, focused will, and intentional living, you reform yourself? thereby becoming a catalyst in sparking transformation in others. I'm Shilpa Lewis, meditation, mindset, and mindfulness coach for midlife mompreneurs, and you are listening to Omnipresent Awareness, the podcast that will inspire you to use your story to serve humanity in not just healing, but thriving as souls each fulfilling their highest purpose. Namaste. Thanks for tuning in to Omnipresent Awareness. This is your host, Shilpa Lewis, and welcome back. Okay, so I'm running a little challenge as I'm trying to get more people to discover this podcast and the conversations that inspire those who value personal growth. And the best way to do that is to leave reviews. You can leave a review on Spotify, Google Podcast, or Apple Podcast. So here is a little request from me to you. If you feel like you have received any value at all from these episodes, then please write a little review and take a screenshot of your review. Once you've done that, email that screenshot to me at omnimindfulness at gmail.com. Once I get your screenshot, you will receive one of my infographics, Spark Your Meditation Practice Through Sankalpa. Sankalpa is the Sanskrit word for intention setting. Along with this, you will receive a link to my guided meditation where you can daily practice intention setting with some inspirational music and breath work. This infographic, along with the guided meditation, is guaranteed to have you start your practice for meditation with a spark. It is my gift for you for being a listener, being a supporter, and of course, for you to be able to manifest the best meditation practice. So thank you for showing up, listening, and being inspired, and most importantly, taking action. I appreciate you. So again, please don't forget to take a screenshot of your review and send it to omnimindfulness at gmail.com and I will send you that infographic and the link to the guided meditation. The simple reality is that we no longer have the luxury of thinking and acting tribally. Not only is it becoming harder to isolate ourselves from members of different cultures, but isolation costs us in terms of perspective and experience, which are ever more valuable resources in our global society. My view is that we have veered too far away from the group and toward the individual, throwing culture out of balance in the process, more out of benign neglect than anything else. Wise words from Dr. Vivek Murthy, author of Together, The Healing Power of the Human Connection in a Sometimes Lonely World. Hey, sweet souls, it's Shilpa here, your host. In this podcast... I am exploring a topic that's close to my heart, which is multiculturalism and mindfulness. Each time I listen to the news these days, my heart is a little bit heavy, particularly as we witness cultures that have different mindsets engage in conflict, or countries that engage in war, such as that which is unfolding in Ukraine. So as I explore this topic this month, I have found the words of Dr. Vivek Murthy from his book Together, very powerful and relevant. So the question is, how do we as a society find a bridge between diversity in cultures? Per Dr. Jack Cornfield, renowned Buddhist monk, the answer is compassion. Compassion forms the bridge between self-knowledge and self-acceptance. And the starting point is loving kindness towards oneself. 
This approach of inner directed compassion is the focal point of a little known meditation known as metta meditation. Metta for love. Dr. Murthy offers wisdom from Dr. Cornfield, who suggests the path of loving kindness can begin with this natural bridge. The meditation practice of metta, loving kindness, is a Buddhist practice that unites the thinking mind, self knowledge, and the heart, loving kindness. While one of the goals of metta meditation is to direct this bridge towards oneself in the modern world, it's often very difficult for people to create this union by first loving themselves. So, to start, consider initiating this practice by directing your loving kindness towards someone you love or care about. And in my case, it's so natural as a mother to direct it towards my son. I find this practice highly effective in particularly charged times, such as when there is friction between opposing groups of people with different ideologies. And if you're like many, the current traumatic events between Ukraine and Russia might be leaving you feeling a little bit helpless. Fortunately, the metta meditation is an effective form of creating a union, and it can be initiated wherever it's easy to open your heart. Heart. Through a series of repeated mantras, this approach invites emotions to be expressed compassionately, such as, May you be filled with love and kindness. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you be well in body and mind. May you be at ease and happy. So, if you are searching for a way to serve humanity, consider prayers for Ukraine by utilizing the metta meditation, loving-kindness approach. So here is my loving-kindness prayer for Ukraine. With pure intention, I first connect to the love in my heart. Next, I send it to those I closely love. And eventually, I send it to those who are suffering. In case of the war-torn country, Ukraine, my meditation includes loving phrases directed towards both sides in this war. By placing my hand on my heart, I express, may you be safe and protected. May you be peaceful and well. I wish for this love to be received on both sides. Infused with the intention behind these words and invite these souls to feel the power of those words for themselves. This approach teaches me to appreciate my good qualities and intentions as well as forgive myself for those moments when I have not lived up to my own expectations or desires. So here is my gift to you, a guided meditation, the Loving Kindness Metta Meditation. I invite you to pause in your day, set your intention to expand your love. Know in your heart that you, yes, you, can make a difference through prayers or meditation. So in honor of those struggling with conflict between Ukraine and Russia, I suggest we all try our best to take a moment to pause, to practice loving kindness. Namaste. Welcome to your Metta Loving Kindness Meditation. This meditation gives you an opportunity to cultivate social connection and compassion towards all living beings. This meditation is accompanied by a series of phrases that you will repeat out loud. Begin with loving kindness towards oneself, then towards someone you love unconditionally, then towards a neutral person, and finally towards those with whom you may be experiencing great challenges. With each phrase, envision that person while remaining present. 
to begin, arrive in a comfortable seated position. Spine straight, shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the floor. Firmly plant your feet, grounding you to the earth. Soften your gaze, soften your mind, soften your heart. Allow yourself to completely relax by taking a breath in. Center your attention in your heart space. Begin by envisioning loving kindness towards yourself. Now silently repeat these phrases after me, allowing enough space and silence between the phrases. May all beings be free. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be happy. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. Now envision sending loving kindness to someone you love unconditionally. May all beings be free. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be happy. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. Now envision sending loving kindness to a neutral person whom you neither like or dislike. May all beings be free. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be happy. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. Now envision sending loving kindness to someone that you feel negativity towards. May all beings be free. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be happy. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. See if you can take time, a minute or two, to simply sit with the effects of this meditation. Quietly, with peace and stillness in your heart, your mind, and your body. The guided portion of this loving kindness meditation is now complete. Thanks again for tuning in. Check out the links in the description and please subscribe, follow, and share. And continue to be 
omnipresent.